So we have four hundreds, one ten, and two units. So we have four hundred and twelve. If we subtract ten, now we don't have any tens, or we have zero tens, so we have the number four hundred and two. Now we have two hundreds, nine tens, and five units, so we have the number two hundred and ninety five. So what is ten less than two hundred and ninety five? If we subtract ten, we now have eight tens, so we have two hundred and eighty five. Now we have three hundreds and nine units, so we have three hundred and nine. So how can we subtract ten from three hundred and nine? Well, if we regroup or exchange one of our hundreds for ten tens, we can subtract ten to leave us with two hundreds. Nine tens and nine units, so we have two hundred and ninety nine.